Imagine that the Ministry of Finance of a hypothetical country named Macroland asks you to project the end 2020 debt level. You are also told that valuation effects, due for example to fluctuations in the exchange rate, are not relevant for Macroland. To carry on this task, you can consider that the debt level at the end of a period T is equal to the debt level at the end of the previous period T minus 1 plus debt issuances minus the debt amortizations that occur during period T. Therefore, to perform the task requested by the Ministry of Finance, you ask, what was the outstanding debt stock at the end of 2019, and how much new debt will be issued and amortized through 2020? The Ministry gives you the following information. The debt stock outstanding at the end of 2019 was 100 million Macroland pesos. Throughout 2020, Macroland's government will issue 35 million Macroland pesos of new debt. The government will amortize debt for 20 million Macroland pesos. Using this information, you report to the ministry that Macroland's debt stock at the end of 2020 will be 115 million macroland pesos, equal to the stock at the end of 2019 of 100 million macroland pesos, plus the debt issuances during 2020 for 35 million macroland pesos, minus the debt amortizations during 2020 for 20 million macroland pesos.